Hey everyone, it's Jaden here from Arcan RV and Medicine Hat. Uh, today I'm going to be walking you guys through our Kodiak Ultralight 261 RB. A uh, bit of a bigger couples unit, it's a really, really nice option. Uh, one of the nice things on the front, you do get the fiberglass front cap, um, so you never have to worry about any of that delamination of that front panel piece because this cap goes right over top of all of it. You do get the diamond plating front plating here too, so when rocks are coming off from the vehicle, um, they're going to be hitting this opposed to hitting that front cap, and it is a little bit spongy, you'll see, and that's because the rocks will hit that and go straight down and they're not going to shoot back at the truck. You do get your propane tanks right on the front and you do have this little a doggy ring here. Um, they call it a doggy D ring so you can hook on the dog leash to it so that the dog's not running around all over the campsite. But it is a nice tie down because it's molded right onto the frame. So if you want to put your generator there, lock up some bikes, it is a good place to be able to do any of that. On your side here, you do have this huge pass through that goes all the way throughout. And you do have this beautiful LED strip that lights it up. So when you are accessing it at night, you're going to be able to see exactly what you're doing. And they're all going to be your uh, magnetic catch baggage doors. So you're not going to have to hold it up with your head while you're throwing stuff in inside and out. It's just going to stay there for you super easy. Big extended awning on this one. You do have the power awning with the LED light on it. And on the outside option, you do have the griddle option at the very back with the fridge on the outside. Um, so when you're having drinks on the outside or cooking something up for lunch, you're going to be able to have your condiments or any drinks inside there. And then you're going to be able to have that grill to cook. This one does have the tandem axle and what's really nice about this, you'll notice that they're a little bit spread out. Uh, the reason for that just gives you a little bit of extra stability when you are traveling down the road. As we make our way to the back, you'll notice that this one does have a spray port at the back. So what this is, it's kind of like an outside uh, shower area. You're able to click a hose into this and you have that coming right from your fresh water. Backup camera prep on it as well, so you're never gonna have to worry about not seeing behind you. You can always have that backup camera installed for you and it's pre-wired through. As you walk around the side, you'll notice this one actually does have uh, a black tank flush as well as your city water connection. So if you put pressurized water in through that black tank flush, it's going to clean out your black tank when you are dumping that out. And your slide mechanism here, you'll notice this guy here is going to be your cable slide mechanism. So there's cables on all four corners that are going to pull that slide inside and out. Um, your more traditional like rack and pinion where you have those big racks on the bottom that pull it are good. Um, but when the slide's just not as heavy on this one here, just because it's going to be your dinette and your couch, there's not a whole lot of weight there. Sometimes it doesn't hold that top piece in place if there's not a lot of weight. So they use that cable slide to make sure there's always a seal all the way around. Um, but we'll hop inside and take a look at the inside of this guy. This one is going to have your solid steps as you're walking on the inside. So you're not going to have to worry about shaking the trailer. I can stand up on that first one and jump all I want. It's not going to shake the trailer around at all. And it's really nice for the kids too. Just a little bit extra stability when they're running in. One thing that Kodiak does really well is you do have the coat racks as soon as you walk in and you walk into the slide opening. So there's tons of space here. This one is the rear bath model. So you have this big bathroom at the back. Full stand-in shower, I'm about 5'10", so you do get a lot of space in here. And it is on the uh, more of a corner round shape, opposed to the rectangle. And the reason they do that is I can move my elbows around and not bump, where if I'm in a rectangle, I kind of have to go like this and it's not as easy to clean yourself. The linen closet in this guy is absolutely huge and the reason for it is they put it right above that outside kitchen area, so it goes right to the wall of the unit and you do have a hanging rack along the middle. As we move more into the inside, th these are going to have your Thomas Paine recliners right across from where a TV would be able to go. A little bit of storage underneath and one thing that Kodiak does that's a little bit hidden is this guy here actually swings out and you get all this extra closet space plus a washer and dryer prep on here as well. Just an awesome feature inside the Kodiaks. This is going to have your full 12 volt refrigerator plus the freezer on top. So being able to bring all that food with you when you are camping. And then being able to fit everyone, you do have this big U-shaped dinette. So if you do have people over, or even if you wanted to use this as a second bed, this can drop down and it's a bigger bed, uh, opposed to having everyone stay in the main bed or sleeping on the floor. Into your kitchen area, Kodiak did upgrade the backsplash here, just giving a little bit of a nicer look. And your stainless steel sink does have this front basin place here. And it's really nice for hanging a towel sometimes. And it's also really nice just because you're not gonna have that tea molding across. So this is your, normally what gets wet and dirty. You're never going to have any of the deterioration of it because it is that stainless steel. Storage all along the top. This guy is connected throughout, so it's super easy to get stuff. And it's nice and strong and sturdy on the bottom. 
storage along the bottom here and you do get your oven plus the range top which is a flush mount for extra countertop space when you're not using it and then the microwave above as well this one will have the roof mounted ac and you do have ducts all the way throughout so that cold air is going to push all the way into the bedroom it's going to push all the way into the bathroom as well no matter where you are on the unit you're going to be able to stay nice and cool and you do get this full walk around queen size bed so really really big bedroom area here walk all the way around storage on either side and you do get storage all the way across the top as well and then you'll notice a little nook side over here a place to put a drink and a book down and you do get an outlet on the bottom as well um, you do get the extra reading light up top and the vent in the bedroom if you do want that airflow without having to turn the ac on um, but it is a really really spacious bedroom so make sure you come down and take a look at it this was the 261 kodiak ultralight